And this is the, the membership we have in just since we launched officially June 1st. And as you can see, uh, in just less than six months, if anybody had any doubts that there is an appetite, a business case to be made, to go green, to make yourself aware of green technologies, the requirements, the strategies, and, and so forth, this is a testament that you know, there's money to, to be made and also a huge positive impact to be made on society by actually thinking green. I mean, we have members of everything from the Uptime Institute, Infotech, Bullfrog Power. How many of you heard of Bullfrog Power here? Okay, they're a member of the, of the Alliance. Kyoto Cooling, in terms of data, is auto share, in terms of carpooling and sharing technologies to try to be more efficient through technology in terms of, you know, not everybody having to have a car, just get the car when you need it. Terrago Networks, wireless technology, bringing broadband to rural communities so that you can, again, enable technologies like video conferencing. So you don't have to drive two hours on the 401 day to day, you know, and burning the fuel and, and falling asleep at the wheel back and forth, right? Uh, printing. Somebody, somebody asked, well, wh why do you have printers there? Well, because there's a difference between printers. TPH is very committed to using only classified recycled paper in most of its printing process. It also adheres to a just-in-time printing app, uh, and network. So that if you have a large scale job, rather than pre-printing documents, manuals, and annual reports that sometimes you know, only 50% of people read or actually you know, pick up, you, that you can assess right in time, just in time, how many documents that you need, print them on recycled paper, and have an organization that can deliver that just in time so you're not stockpiling things, which then becomes out of date and, and basically wastes paper for no reason. Uh, soft choice in terms of their commitment to working with EPEAT and EPEAT being one of our members as well, which is the, basically the uh, organization that works with Energy Star in terms of the, the very important job of classifying and, and rating different manufactured goods and products for the IT industry in terms of the recycle, uh, sorry, recyclability and their environmental impact. Uh, one of the leaders, a person, that, you know, companies that are receiving gold awards in this EP category, companies like Apple. How many of you have seen the latest uh, MacBook Pros from Apple Corporation? All right. So here's a computer, here's a manufacturer that has taken a, basically a slab of aluminum and has built a computer right from one slab of aluminum, fully recyclable. All the parts that come out from the machine are fully recycled saving enormous amounts of cost, precision, you know, from a cost perspective, their, their cost of manufacturing down 15%, 20% in terms of cranking out these, these uh, notebooks. Ability to, to, to manage thermally, the, the, the speed of the processors enhanced. The ability to recycle the entire in, in, uh, machine because they're using less, they've eliminated most of the, of the toxic chemicals, they've eliminated mercury, bromide, and other, other elements from the manufacturing process itself so that when you actually are done with a computer and nobody else can use it, the whole machine can be recycled. It doesn't end up in a landfill. It can actually has some value which you can sell it off and actually repurpose that, build a new computer with the latest technology. Gracious Living, which uh, joined us uh, about a month and a half ago. Again, there's a company which is the largest, pretty much, plastic furniture manufacturing in Canada. And what they're doing is, rather than all those plastic items that we throw out in the garbage ending up in a landfill or having to be trucked down to Michigan, they basically collect that, that garbage, no charge, basically reuse that, that plastic through their process and then produce new plastic products from recycled or, or refuse from, that people have thrown out. So rather than ending up at the landfill, you're creating new economic activity, new ideas to try to repurpose raw materials that would otherwise end up you know, in, in a landfill and just cause more emissions by trucking all this stuff to you know, undisclosed locations. So, I mean, from an economic perspective, I mean, if you combine all this, th these companies that are focused and have made as part of their business plan centrally the focus of incorporating green initiatives and green technology, talking about multi-billion dollar industry represented in the alliance right now. 